Let me in, please. Grab a seat. I'm gonna be. We're gonna start uh, our debate in a few quick seconds. Yes. So. Okay. Okay. Hi. Right. You guys all listen up. My name is Francis Chen. I'm the co-president of the Royal High School Debate Club. Today we will be debating on a very important issue that this high school will be facing, as well as many other high school high schools within our district. Okay. Currently, as you know, there's a possible schedule change, which is due to happen next year. Therefore, rather than having a debate on block, we're going to focus on uh, two sides, two options that have been given to us. Okay. The period schedule and the, the trimester schedule. Okay. Now they're going to be debating on whether uh, they're going to be debating on whether which side uh, has the gives the most student success. Okay. To introduce our de debaters, we have period schedule supporters Daniel Bello and Z.R. Jackson, and we also have uh, trimester schedule supporters uh, Jokin Castillo and Stanley Chen. Okay. Now, just a quick clarification on what uh, each schedules are. A period schedule is basically six uh, six classes that you have throughout the whole year long, just the whole year long. Okay. A trimester schedule is basically uh, like three quarters that that break up that break up the whole year, where you have five classes per quarter. Okay. Now, a few ground rules. Okay. First, there is no eating and drinking in the library. Uh, please don't mess up the books that are around uh, that are already in the library, so that you don't create a hassle for the librarians. Uh, please hold your applause to the end, so no uh, cheering or booing during the debate. Uh, don't interrupt the debaters, basically. Debaters, I ask not uh, you guys not to interrupt each other if one person or one group is speaking and you're Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, timer. Yes. James is here and will be our timer, basically. So, basically, our first, what we're going to have, have first is uh, we're going to have each group present for three minutes each. They're going to be presenting their, why they support their schedule. Now, uh, James, could you hold up your sign? Basically, that sign tells us how much time is left. So, 30 seconds or 10 seconds. That, that will tell, he will tell how much time is left. Now, let's see, anything else? Okay, that's about it. So, I will ask our trimester schedule supporters to please stand up and present your argument. Thank you. Alright, I'd like to thank everyone now for coming today. As you guys know, there will be a possible change in the schedule here at Arroyo and in San Lorenzo High School. And one of the options are the trimester schedule, as you see right here. So basically, trimester split up, split up into three different grading periods. You got the fall, the winter, and the spring. And here you can have different options. So basically, each grading period will basically fulfill half, yeah, half of the course. So like, let's say you're going to take algebra in the fall, you have to take the other half of the fall, I mean of math, either in the winter or the spring, so you can have a break in the middle. So basically your options are, you can have math, math, or you can have math here, math there, or math over here. And this is actually kind of a good thing for those who are taking some fourth classes or remedial classes. So basically like, if you're going to take English support, so you can take English support in the fall, and you can take English, English over there, so you don't get feel rushed. Like, you're taking a support class and you're taking the actual class at the same time. So yeah, and then it's actually good for yeah, it's actually good for people especially speaking English or people who don't speak English well. Yeah. And yeah, AP classes you gotta take for the whole year. And basically, student success. We believe that in the end, that everyone should graduate and go to college. That's it. Overall, the AP classes, since they're taking year long, you get more time. And for remedial classes, over the regular courses, the courses will be, uh, won't be as rushed. So under the peer schedule, they would have to take it at the same time, which means they would have to um, cope with both the remedial and the regular course. So they do not have time to prepare. Yeah, and also the periods, if you fail a class, that's it, you're going to summer school. But with this, you still got a chance, you know, like let's say you took, I don't know, algebra here and you failed, 
still taking it over here and in here again, but you do have to take the other half. So yeah, that's what he has to do. So in total, you take off five classes per day, and um, each of those classes are seven minutes each. In total, at the end, you have taken 30 classes over a uh, period schedule, which is only 24, which is six extra classes. And yeah, that's a good thing too. Like if you got AP classes, you could have more time to prepare for your actual AP tests and everything. So, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, we ask that you guys speak a little bit louder because it's sort of hard to hear. Oh, All right. Sorry. Now, the time, the period schedule people will be presenting their stamps. So you guys start when you're ready. Okay. All right. So um, we are going for the period schedule. Um, so I we had six classes a day, 45 minutes, which um, we help students to like concentrate more and less time. Um, the good thing to have a here we will be um, studying. It's really um, they have they, they will have more time to um, prepare for the um, SAT, um, not the SAT, the um, start testing, and. They will achieve um, better GPAs because the, the periods will be more longer. You have the six classes, you already know what you have, and it's, um, you already know what you have, so therefore you, you're not confused or anything like that. So you have a chance to, um, yeah, to get used to your schedule pretty much. And also, you have more time to, um, you have more chances to um, start um, catching classes. Uh, also, the main concern I get when I hear about people, oh no, I'm afraid that we're going to switch to a period class, or a period system, or maybe it might be a trimester. The reason why period is better than trimester, in, in some respects, I'll hear this out. The teachers are more prepared for the period system rather than the trimester system. I've asked a couple teachers, uh, and they they said that they want to spend more time with their students because if they can spend more time with their students, they can more easily express like what they need to work on and give them more one-to-one -one help compared to the trimester system where you'd have more kids in the less amount of time compared to a period system where you'd have the same students throughout the entire year. Now, and also another uh, thing that we saw in most studies conducted by the, just the Department of Education saying that the uh, students' attention spans are not as, they're, they're limited. They cannot concentrate enough through, an, uh, let's say, 55 period class, or 55 minute class, or uh, a 60, or an hour and a half class like we have now. Also, uh, in this period system, we may lose classes, but instead of having to take, let's say, uh, calculus, and then you have to take AP Calculus with the period system, you can go directly into AP Calculus and you have more time to study for the AP exam, and you're more prepared for the AP test than, let's say, a trimester system, which might be broken up over a, a break, and you might forget some of that information, and then you might not even be ready for the AP test at the end of that course. So that's where it becomes vital to have more time with the individual students and the teachers, because they can get a better grasp of the information. So now we're going to be hearing a series of uh, two minute rebuttals back and forth, back and forth. So, trimester, your turn. Uh, the period I mentioned that uh, the teachers can spend more time with the students, but then under the trimester, since there are 70 minutes per class, the class will be as rush. And um, for um, certain classes, such as science, there are labs. So, some of those labs take a full class time. And under a 55 minute uh, period schedule, the lab will be um, shortened. And also, in a certain English class here at Royal, there is a um, certain time for each set of amount of work. And one of those are one of those is um, reading, which is takes up 20 minutes, and that will limit you with 35 minutes left to take any other class. And 
overall, um, the classes are limited.